This is a 1992 Mercedes W124 estate, as you can see, and it is a 4MATIC, which means it has four-wheel drive capability, and it's uh, E300, so it's a 3-litre straight-six engine. And what I'm doing here is talking about the heating controls. Well, here we are. This is the uh, owner's manual. And this is the section here to do with the heating. This car is a fully automatic climate control car. And the reason I'm doing this little video is because I've had a number of people commenting on a previous description of the car that this was either not a fully automatic heating uh, climate control car or they didn't have one when the car was produced. Well, first of all, I would point out that this is a 1992 car. I had a 1978 Cadillac which had the same system. So the system, which being fully automatic, is not a new, not new, certainly in 1992. Um, I do understand, though, that this heating system was not sold by Mercedes in this car in all areas of the world. So perhaps in some countries th this was not available, and therefore the people are not aware of it. But this is a fully automatic system. And it, here is the manual, which uh, you can freeze frame and read, I guess. There are really only three controls to work at. You set this button on. You set the dial to the white position, which is ambient temperature. And you put this button onto automatic. Now, as it is, that's all you have to do. If you drove, it, drove this car from the um, Arctic down to the Sahara Desert, the temperature in the car would be maintained inside within reason I guess but it would be maintained automatically this uses a combination of the heat the air conditioning and it does control the rate of the fan blowing and it also controls where the air is ducted to so the air will at times come out through the these vents if it was air conditioning needed it would come out more through the uh, windscreen and the feet wells if it was needed as well for heating. So, it, and it would make a combination of, of of those. So, it basically the system will dictate whatever is necessary automatically to keep the car at an ambient temperature. Now, if you were to increase the wheel to gradually a colder position as we got here, it will keep the car now at a colder position and therefore the air conditioning may come on, more, come on and stay on for longer or as long as necessary. And likewise if you put it into a hot position you will get uh, heat coming through the footwell and, and or through the um, windscreen to keep the car hot. But, I mean, normally, you've got an ambient temperature. Okay. So, the rest of the buttons here are really just override, because it is an automatic system. If you come in the morning and the car is completely iced up, you push this button. That overrides the system and simply gives maximum heat to the windscreen. And in this particular car, it does heat the um, the mirrors because they've got automatic mirror heaters which come on when this when this is button is pushed also the blower will go at a maximum so what you so when you push this you override the system it will continue to give you maximum heat maximum fan blowing uh, until you stop stop it until you push another button go back to the normal setting so that's an override this is also an override. 
if you've got a car that's fogging up, what this does, if you push this, it stops air coming out as air conditioning through these vents. It basically only allows warm air to come out through the windscreen or the footwell. So it is a better version of that, if you like, I suppose, if the car is misting up or if you've got snow on the outside. So you're, you're, you're heating the windscreen instead of possibly a mixture of cold air and, and uh, warm air to keep the car at this ambient temperature. So that is another override switch. This is, they call it an economy switch, and basically what it does, if you push that, you have the same system running automatically except it does not engage the air conditioning. It simply works with a mixture of warm air and cold air coming in from the outside. So you, you're just not running air conditioning, that's all. That basically saves you fuel, in theory. So there again, another override switch. That being normal. This, another override switch, which simply shuts the whole system off. That just stops it. So normal, automatic system, stop it. Here we've got three switches, and they really relate to the fan. The middle one, as it says on it, is automatic. So when you're in that position, the fan, the rate of, or the speed of the fan, is regulated automatically according to what is required to keep the car at the temperature that you've set, or according to these overrides. This will override the automatic system and give you a continual high fan rate. So even if the temperature in the car does not require the fan to be working fast, this will make it go fast. So if the car was cold and you wanted it to stay hotter than perhaps it was getting, you could use that. So the car is back to automatic. Now, if you find that automatically the car is the car's fan is working faster than you really want, it's too loud or whatever, you can push this button and that decreases the fan. So there again, that overrides it. So, you've got an automatic system that works all the time by that but being, button being in, this button being on automatic, and the temperature being set. In normal circumstances, you just leave it in the white position. And the car now will drive. It will use a combination of heat and air conditioning automatically. You can override it by turning it off, by forcing the fan to stay on, by forcing the fan to go slower, by forcing the heating to be severe, or to have the heating directed to the windscreen and the footwell, as opposed to any air coming out of these vents. Or you can have the air conditioning section of it off. Now there's one other override, and that's up here. That's recirculating. If you put that on, you're recirculating air, so it stops air coming into the car from the outside. You know, if there were fumes in the car from the car exhaust in front, you'd activate that. But automatically, if you just forget about it, that will automatically go back to, uh, it'll close in other words, and it'll allow a fresh air in. I think after about uh, 30 minutes in one case, it has two different positions according to the temperature on the inside of the car. So in other words, when you set the recirculating button uh, system, you can forget about it because it will revert back to f being fully automatic. So that's it, a fully automatic system, uh, normal driving, you just leave that in white position, that middle button on, that middle button on, forget about it, and the car will always be at an ambient temperature. Um, that's it. I hope that explains it, and I hope now that um, the people who've commented saying that this is not a fully automatic system will at least acknowledge that, yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you for that. Bye-bye.